Men's freestyle, 97 kilograms, what a battle. Including Jake Varner four years ago in London on the last day of the Olympic Games. Maybe to the surprise of some around the globe, worked his way through the bracket and grabbed gold for Team USA. But last summer, dethroned by Kyle Snyder at the US Open of the World Team Trials, and the then 19-year-old rolled on to become the youngest men's freestyle world champion in American wrestling history. And then style, Snyder coming back to back it up, winning an NCAA title at the heavyweight division. Some foes there maybe outweighing him by 30, 40 pounds, but here in this 97 kilo, 213 pound weight class, these two, the defending Olympic champion and defending world champion, go the distance here at the Olympic trials. Varner won the first 4-4 four, four on tie-breaking criteria, but shut out in round two, four nothing by Kyle Snyder. What needs to happen for each of these wrestlers to be successful here? Jim? Well, after after Snyder's first loss, he came back and readjusted, made some adjustments, and he came out and, and, and shut Varner down. Now, Varner needs to reset and make his own adjustments. He needs to find those hill picks again. He needs to get to the body. He's got good underhooks. But Kyle Snyder, I know what he's thinking right now. I got to the low single leg. I'm going to continue to get. There you go. You saw a shot from Varner recognizing he needs to pick the pace up. This match is the match that sends one of them to Rio. And what drama? First time this happened, it has happened at an Olympic trials since 1988, where a reigning Olympic champ and a reigning world champ have met here to decide who goes to the Olympics for the Americans. And right now, Snyder strikes first in round three. Great drag. We haven't seen that from Snyder. This is That's a new move I haven't seen him hit, even in college. So that's the th kind of things that can happen when you want something so bad. All of a sudden, you're, you, you'll do things that you haven't worked on, things that you may not have worked on. I'm sure he's worked on it. With a great, great, great drag. Well, that was what was really eye-opening about his run last year. The potential was there, but to be realized so quickly he grew by leaps and bounds as the summer progressed and has continued that here. But as you mentioned, Varner looks to be in terrific shape, rolling through the challenge tournament for the right to meet Snyder here in this final. Varner needs to keep attacking here. He took a shot at the beginning of the period. And since then, he's hadn't taken an attempt to, to get to a leg, to get to the body. Snyder continuing to work with his 2-0 lead. Under 90 seconds left to go in the first of two three-minute periods. It's Barnair front headlock, another little bit of attempt to attack the leg, pulling the head. Snyder's moving his feet well, reshot there. Good action. Just as we get action, stop the whistle. Right. One minute left to go as these two Look to turn up the wick a little bit. And for Varner, no scoring so far in the last match. And so far here in this opening period, Snyder in to score again. Varner in denial mode, but he'll get pushed out. Snyder will tack on another point. Great position, got to the high crotch. And when he tried to make that change off, Varner got his hips back. Probably should have stayed on the leg, but, it, but he kind of knew where he was at, so he went ahead and drove him out. Limited the damage there. Didn't give up the two, but the deficit now of three. Wait, wait, wait. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Snyder's moving well. He's on the head now. He's starting to pull it a little bit more. Something we haven't seen. Talked about making adjustments. What does he have in store here to work from three down in this must-win situation for both. The victor on to Rio. Snyder's moving his feet really well. He's kind of jab faking, moving side to side. As he goes to the head, he's moving the head as he's adjusting his feet. Looks pretty confident on his feet. Three nothing after one, and here's the two that got it started for Kyle Snyder. Drag. Quick drag. More, more so see that kind of technique more in Greco. Nice drags, slid him down, secured the, the takedown. And then the push out. Hits Varner a shot. he was trapped. Changes off, tries to change off, got heavy and drove him out. 
When he changed off, if you notice his butt came up a little bit, you've got to keep those hips underneath and come up through the guy. He'll take the three nothing lead here to period two. Jake Varner took some time off after that Olympic gold medal in 2012, but back with a vengeance now here at the Olympic trials. Looking to put his hat in the ring to become a consecutive gold medalist at the Olympics for USA Wrestling. Jordan Burroughs will have the crack in Rio. Can Varner get there as well and look to make it back-to-back -back Olympic gold? Snyder's really moving his feet well in this match. He's kind of jab faking, feels real light on his feet, feels confident, looks confident. Boom, taking a shot, making a change off. Able to Probably finish two point two. Just seeing the confidence as he scored the, his third point. And now his fifth point. You're just seeing the movement in his feet. And I'm he may not be done scoring. Barner needs to score the next points. If he wants a shot at this, he needs to score the next points. Again, making adjustments after losing round one, and he shut out Varner since. Four nothing in round two, and so far, five zip in this decisive third meeting in the championship finals. Notice the constant jab fakes. Even though Varner's not reacting to it, he's jab faking, and then he's taking the shot. He needs to build his knees up right here. Varner needs to get his knees up, suck the leg in. Snyder was posted on those sides to keep him from building his knees up. Able to earn the stalemate. Back to the center. 93 seconds left to go. Moving well. Snyder now can work with this lead. Barter needs to find something out of the back pocket and instead he gets backed out by Snyder for another point of the push out. And an, again, another drag, another drag to a push out. Nice adjustments. We didn't see that technique in either of those first two matches. Adding another layer to the attack plan. He's the reigning world champion. Hanging on the head here. Not going to build up there. Doesn't want to give up the point. Moving yeah. his feet really well. Desperate times now for Jake Varder to try to find a way to get a big move against Kyle Snyder, who has given up very little in the last 18 months or so since his arrival in the college ranks. Lost, got pinned in the NCAA final in 2015, said it made him angry. Wouldn't have the opportunity to be a four-time college champ, so he got invigorated, went on that massive run last summer. Titles at the U.S. Open, the World Team Trials, and the World Championship. Another college crown this year, and closing in on a run to Rio. This has been dominant since that opening round of the series, John. Unbelievable. He's, he's worked well on his feet in the last two matches. I'm telling you, the movement on his feet really was quite different in the second and third match compared to the first. Varner gets one point, but that will be it. An Olympic champion for four years ago won't have the chance to defend his title because the reigning world champion is going to the Olympics for the first time in his quest to retain the title as the best at his weight in the world. Great respect for what Jake Varner has accomplished so far, but Kyle Snyder just has been flat better in their meetings here in the last two years. Watching him, you see his foot movement, got to the leg, finished it, drove, changed off there, went head to the knee, set him to his butt, and covered the legs. Just the, the movement in those second and third period, that adjustment from the first going, I gotta move my feet more. I'm sure his coaches were in the back going, move your feet, move your feet, move your feet. And Kyle Snyder. Joining us, Kyle, congratulations. John Smith just talking about, you got beaten round one. What were the adjustments like to turn it around in rounds two and three? Just in my stance, I wasn't in a attack position. I think my feet were too square. So, made it hard to get to his legs, but, and he's, he's just a good wrestler, you know, it's hard to finish on his hips, so I got to hit him lower. 
One thing I noticed, Kyle, that you moved your feet a lot more in that yeah. second and third. I mean, you kept that distance. You got to your low single leg, and then when you got to it, a lot of times you either built up to your your bear hug or you or you dumped him. Your finishes were solid. Right. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I thought that if I got to his leg, I'd have a good chance of finishing it. But in the first match, I came up to the body a couple of times. I need to stay on the leg. But um, yeah, definitely made a couple of adjustments. Kyle, so much has happened for you so quickly. Success of the Junior Worlds, the NCAA Championship, the World Championship. What's an Olympic trip mean? Man, that's probably the most special one so far. I mean, last year's Worlds was awesome. But I mean, the Olympics are just a little bit different. Everybody knows that. All the eyes are on you, and that's what I like. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my summer training as hard as I possibly can to re represent the United States of America to the best of my ability. Kyle, congratulations. We'll look forward to seeing you do just that this summer in Rio. Thank you.